So there's been some stuff going on. We spoke about Gabriel Jesus yesterday. And if mm. you guys remember, some Arsenal fans were saying, you know what, we don't. I don't like Gabriel Jesus. I don't like Gabriel Jesus. He only scored six goals all season. Well, you want to know something? Uh, or No, four goals all season or three goals all season. You want to know something, guys? What, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. He doubled, he, tri- he doubled that goal tally. He got four goals and an assist in one game. Literally yesterday. So what are we saying now? Man is on seven goals off, uh, uh, in the Premier League this season. He would cost us between 20 to 30 million pounds. And he would be one of our two options coming in in the forward options in the summer. Would you take Gabriel Jesus? Yes or no? Uh, Tommy, have you changed your stance? Not, not for me, man. It's just, it's just not for me, bro. I want Oshman and Darwin Nunes. It, this, this guy is just not it for me, man. Is that uh, is that realistic, bro? Uh, is that uh, is that realistic? Uh, is it realistic yeah, to say we're gonna get uh, Oshman uh, and uh, Darwin Nunes? Uh, uh, that's uh, not uh, realistic, uh, bro. Yeah, I uh, think uh, for uh, him. I think for us as a primary striker, no, I do not want him as as our primary striker, no chance. But I think as a secondary striker, because look, let's face it, Lacazette and Ketia, they've gone, yeah, and he's yeah, better yeah. than both of them. He's got Premier League experience. He's been in the league long enough. He's young. He's still young, and he's got that winning mentality because he's been around winners. So he'll bring that experience to the dressing room. But again, for me as a as a primary striker, as a as a starting forward, no. Same. Hundred percent. Hundred percent for me. Guy. A hundred percent for you. No brainer, bro. He's an Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, he's won the Copa America. He's won the Premiership. He's in. He's in. He's been in a team for about what four or five years where they've just been winners. He's worked with Arteta before. He's still only twenty five. He hasn't really had that much of a chance. They're gonna get Alvarez and Harlan in. Alvarez is already signed for them. Yeah, um, yeah. Which we know he's coming in. Yeah, he's gonna want to be hungry and prove himself. Yeah. Right, he's going to have the team is going to be around him, and he's got a good young squad already. This guy is going to be an absolute baller. Bro. He's one problem, kill bro. It for us, bro. one problem, bro, though, isn't it? Because when they're training and they're on the pitch, yeah, and someone shouts Gabriel, you got Martinelli turning around, you got Gabriel turning around, you got get my man turning around as well, bro. Oh. <laughs> Well, if that's the problem, I'll I'll take that problem, bro. I'll take that problem because when he's scoring 20, 30 goals a season, bro, the guy has got some. When he first came on the Premier, Premier Premier League, when he first came, I thought, wow, what a signing, City. Yeah, yeah, same. And obviously, <clears throat> and I think if we listen, he's not got he's not the main guy at City. For us, he'll be one of our main guys as well. And he's already like, imagine if we had him, and let's say just we had him over Lacazette this season, it's top four. We would be in top three, easy. Top three easy, so mm. that, that this is going to be. A would you have him as a primary striker? Bro? Top three, bro. Yeah, maybe not. My primary striker. I think he's going to be that good. Ma, uh, uh, Mira says he's better on the wing, though. He's a striker there, but he plays on the wing in it for Man City. But he's just not the striker I want. You know what, LT LT Arsenal. If you guys know him, one of uh, one of my guys on Twitter, he was telling us the other day that this whole stuff about he's a winger talk. Is BS because if you actually is. look, if you look at his fixtures that he's played as a striker, listen to striker. this. He's played 157 caps for Man City, right? Uh, 74 of those games are as a striker. In those 74 mm. games, he's gotten 39 goals, 14 wow. assists. Wow, that is wow. outstanding. Wow. I think I think for me again, the question is, would I take him? Yes. Would I take him as my primary striker? No. And you got to question yourself here, yeah. He's a number nine, but at Man City, he's been playing as a false number nine. And that's kind of disrespectful, man. Abs, okay. don't you think we need two strikers? So if we got him and oh, like, Ivan Tony, him but, and Sa- Ivan Tony up front, wow. Sa- Sa- Saracen, like, for me personally, though, bro, I would have him like, I would go and get, I would get Darwin. Like, for me, I don't even, I know everyone's jumping on the bang with Darwin yeah. Nunes. Personally, I would, I, would get, I would get Lataro Martinez, yeah. but he's just signed a contract, so we can't get him. But if we get Darwin Nunes and we get um, Jesus, I would let them battle it for like I know it sounds like I'm contradicting myself, but Darwin News is is gonna need time to settle, yeah. Mm. But he'd probably be eventually our number one striker. And in that settling period, like Jake Jesus has got the experience, etc. But again, mm. do I want him as primary striker? Nah, man, not, not as a no, main but, striker. Hey, no, exactly that point. Darwin Nunes isn't gonna be easy to get. Like, let's be honest. That's gonna be a hard, hard like Darwin Nunes. That like, I would love, obviously. He's going to be, what, 60, but the whole of Europe is looking at him. So this is for a realistic option between 20 and 30 million. I think it's yeah. a steal. 
Do you know what I mean? And if we, even if we've got Jonathan David, for me, Darwin Nunes is the number one striker. That's the one I most want. But Darwin I'm Nunes really would be quality for well. us. Yo, what do you guys think of? Um, I want Darwin Nunes and Osherman, man. Let's let's just do let's just do some quick reaction stuff. What do you guys think of Nemanja Matic's uh, video? Did you see the video of Nemanja Matic getting triggered by the fans? No, nah, no, nah, I didn't see that. Did shit, you see man. it? I'm I'm Dude, gonna play. Our fans I'm gonna, or their fans? Uh, our fans. He got triggered by our fans. I'm gonna just play the video for for everyone right now, just so you guys can see it. Um, if you haven't seen it already, uh, I'm just gonna need everyone to mute their mics uh, as I set it up. And All right. I'm gonna just get this sort. I'm gonna get this up for us right now. Where is it? Here we go. Okay, so this is at the Emirates. Nemanja Matic was Nemanja Matic was getting stick from the fans, and he decided to he decided to uh, to stick it on them again. So this is what he was. This is what he he said. Let me show you. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? Hello. Yeah. You may want to expand yeah, yeah, it yeah. yourself. Yeah. So if so you if me... you if you can't see it, he literally did the Jose uh, three Premier Leagues. You got uh, three Premier Leagues or something like that. And, and for me, football players always get stick, and the fact that. You very rarely see them react. They usually just carry on or they laugh it off. Yeah. He's obviously knows that Man United are in a mess and he knows his career's ended. So Broberg start getting his job in Tesco, innit? <laughs> I woke up two hours ago and I'm not going to sit, sit lie. That's the best thing I've seen this morning. Ten Hag. Ten, <laughs> bro, Ten Hag has got, he's got to deal with these average players, Ten Hag. I feel for Ten Hag because he's, because he's, these lot are not part of his plans. I'm thinking, he's, this guy's are, already gone. Oh, I feel this for Ten Hag. He's, He's not signing a contract. Anyway. He's already they're already going to release him at the end. Of the season. He's, he's thirty-three. He's past his best. Yeah, definitely. Oh, bro, he's done. He's done. He's finished, man. He's done. Ten Hag is going to deal with these with, 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 with these average players. Ten Hag. I feel for Ten Hag dealing with this power of shit, man. Like, okay, yeah. I am going to tell you guys something. Um, sorry, just one second. Let me just sort this out. Um. J- let me get this up. You guys continue with what you're saying because when it comes just don't to... tell us that we're linked with Matic, bro. No, no, no. Do you remember years ago we were linked? We got um, Mikel, we got Sylvester, remember? Years ago, we got, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, average. Right. Right. Looks like Robocop, yeah. bro. We got a guy that looks like Robocop playing for us, bro. Like, it's I, mad, yo, bro. Let me just ask you guys some links, okay? Quick fire. Um, what minute is it? Just so I can do the timestamp. 57. Um, Tillemans. 57, what, are we say? what are we saying for Tillemans? No. Tillemans, yes. no? Yes. I, I don't 25 mind him. million, yes. I don't mind him though, man. But is he gonna leave Leicester though? I like him. I like him, but he, he looks he looks, <laughs> he looks fatigued right. so often, man. He just looks like he's just like he looks like he's got some kind of health problem, man. I think I think he's out of shape. That's what it is. Mm. He's out of but shape. He, listen, but the guy's a baller. Talk to me. Tell him Are we saying no? Because we're heavily we're heavily linked to Telemans. We need a squad. We need a squad. And this guy, remember, he won Leicester. If if Aubameyang won us the FA Cup, this is the guy that won Leicester the FA Cup with that yeah, screamer. With that, that He's good. I'm a fan of his, bro. I'm a fan of his. But are we saying are we saying him over Ruben Neves? Now Ruben Neves all day long. Ruben Neves. 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 I don't think either of them are better than Jaka. Hmm? No, I don't think so. I think Jaka's better than both of them. Yeah, I think Shaq is better than no, both. I don't know, man. I take for me. I don't know. Says, I don't Tillemans know. He's, or, I don't Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves. Mm. I'm taking Ruben Neves over Tillemans. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I agree. Two of them. Okay, so so you guys are saying you guys are saying you take Ruben Neves over Tillemans. Yeah, yeah but I don't think Ruben Neves. Yeah. I don't think he'll leave Wolves anyway because they're playing well. On he the will, bro, right. man. He will, man. I think the money comes in. Yeah, right. I think their, their, Port- their Portugal project is done. Like. When they started buying yeah. everyone from Portugal, now he's looking around, they're all leaving. You <laughs> know what I mean, bro? No, no, Wolves are having a good season, eighth in the league. I, I don't think you want to leave. Wolves, Arsenal, though. bro, it's Arsenal, but, man. We're a big club, bro, man. If we get Champions League as well, inshallah, do you know what I mean? That's, uh, that, that, no, that's going to be a big... He's going to want to play in the I Champions was, League. No offence, he's, he's playing under Arteta. No offence. Come on, man. <laughs> bro, I find that offensive. Bro. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, we won't get into bro, it. I want Luis Enrique, man. Come on. We won't okay, get to managers. So. We'll, we'll go to players, innit? <laughs> okay. Um, 
I'm, I got a bunch of stuff to quick fire. What oh, next man. one? What do we think about uh, what minute is it, by the way? What do we think 59. about Henri Dennis Burkamp? What minute? 59, yeah. nearly, nearly 59, an hour. Bro. Um, yeah, amazing. Great to see Burkamp, especially after they didn't give him a coaching opportunity and they kind of yeah, man, ousted man. him. So it's great to see him back at the club. Uh, my my favorite player at Arsenal of all time. He was a baller for us. Like he was one of the best men. Burkham. Great to have him around. The youngsters. It's good to see. It's it just would have boosted them. everyone. It's just good to see the legends everyone. back uh, at the Emirates. It's good to see the legends uh, getting involved with the club, and especially with with Henri saying quotes before in the past where he spoke about not wanting to be part of not wanting to be part of anything to do with Arsenal or anything like that with Granit Xhaka there. It's good to see him there. And you know what? Mm -hmm. Emil Smith Rowe, Bakayo Saka next to Henri and Dennis Bergkamp. That's literally the past and present. Obviously I'm not yeah, saying Bakayo Saka. It's just poetic, isn't it? I'm not saying they're anywhere near the level of those players. No, 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 I'm just no, saying no, 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 this no, is no, no. this is the past and this is the present at this moment in time. Um let's let's move on to the next one. Timo Libermento has been linked to Arsenal. Uh, what yes. do you guys think? What do you guys think about Libermento? Would you take yes. Libermento? I would take him. Good player, man. No, very, no, very no, good young player. Very no, good young player. He's better than what? Tavares. What'd you say? Did you say no? I take, take him. no way, bro. We got Saliba coming in. Yeah, I'd rather we, bring yeah, Saliba, we need Saliba back. back bro. Saliba's do you know what I mean? We don't need bro. Libermento, bro. And and plus nah, this Saliba, whole Chelsea man. thing, it never works out for us. William Gallas. Uh, who else have we had from Chelsea? Peter Cech, which I think Gallas, you know, Gallas was actually not bad work. for us. Gallas was actually okay for us, but he was, was all right. But one thinking season, Chelsea's yeah. left over because Chelsea they took Ashley Cole and Giroud from us anyway, which is deep. You man. See what I'm saying this Chelsea thing, well, Livermentos yeah, have like, been through their ranks. Peter Cech, I don't know. Gallas. Yeah, but listen, we've got Cedric, David right Louise. Back Come on, man, you can play him right back and left back. I would you rather you know, he's not a centre back. He's he's a wing back. We've got Cuffy, who's a really good prospect for us. So uh, we've got Mr. No? who's going to be back. We've got, I, take I would like to get Jed Spence. Jed Spence is brilliant. Uh, you know, oh, he's happy. better than Jed he, Spence, man. I don't think so. I've seen Jed Spence a few he's times. He's in the before. Premier League right now, guys. He's. I take him. I take him, you got back because we, we, we. I think he's a bit overrated, personally. Okay. Okay. Um, I was going to get on to this, but my guy beat me to it. Edu's comments. What do we think, ladies and gentlemen? What do we think about Eddie's comments? Because I have it right here. Let me get it for you guys. So it's it's been it. it's been misconstrued. Right basically. Here. here we go. Edu spoke about the summer plans yesterday and hinted the club would bring in one or two big signings compared to last season. So what do we say? So he's. I think this this statement has been misconstrued because he's not saying he's only going to get two signings. He's just saying he's going to get two bigger signings, so big kind of marquee signings, and then he's going to possibly get more. So I'm quite happy about this. What do What do you think? Uh, sorry, sir. Sorry, what what was the comment? I read it, bro. It's right there. Yeah, so two big signings. Yeah, I think with the financial play rules. If if Jesus is one of them, happy with that. If we can get Darwin Nunes, I think we're going to get about three players in, really, realistically. Yeah, remember we have got a few. We've got Matt Turner coming in. I know people don't really know about him, but we've got Trusty as well that's coming in. Austin, he's not going to play against very, very Trusty quick. Is, give Trusty a chance. Trusty is right. never going to play right. for Arsenal, bro. Why is Trusty <laughs> not going to play for us? Who we knows? bought him. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like if there's, if there's two extra signings and Trusty they're top quality times. signings. Remember, we don't want a lot of people in the squad that are going to cause issues for the future. So if there's two loyal signings, that be it. And then come in January, we can always rebuild. But it depends as well if we're in the Champions League. If we're in the Champions League, but we need at least four top quality signings. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I, I'm i not going to lie. I, I have to look deeper into these Edu comments. I don't know too much about these Edu comments. What the hell was that? But yeah, Sorry, man. Um, there, is, there is another thing that we need to look at. There is another thing that we need to look at. And this one right here is is going to maybe surprise some people a little bit more than, than wow. other people that they were linked to. We're linked to a certain midfielder, a certain English midfielder that a lot of people would say, you know what? They would make fun of his name. They would make fun of the fact that he's that that he's that he's being linked for a move for 150 million, that he's being overpriced by his current club, that he's overachieving with his current club. 
that they don't think he's worth the money that West Ham want to Declan Rice. Declan Rice has been linked to Arsenal today. 100%. He's a baller, man. I like Declan Rice. I'll take him. Easy. I'll take him, man. 100%. Imagine him and Partey in midfield. Oh. Ooh. Be him and Partey will be sourcing together, man. Sourcing, bro. They you know what I'm saying, bro? Problem, sourcing. Bro. What are we saying, though? How... I'll take Declan Rice. It's a boy. Would it cost 100, 100 million. Take him, bro. We'll take him. 100 million, bro. He's I don't think we'll fuck out. Not 150 million. Not 150 million. No chance. There's He's not worth that, bro. Spot. English tax, man. Would you, hey, would you take him for, like, would you take him for 40 million? Declan Rice. Bro, I'd buy your hands off for that, bro. <laughs> I'd, I'd, how much, million, I, that's how much would you take him for? What's the max? What's the max you'd pay? 70. Is that how much would you pay, Max? What do you mean I'll take it, man? Listen, let me just tell you what the report says. The report says that Emmanuel Fringpong has urged Arsenal to go sign the player. We actually oh, are not linked oh, to him. you got to be excited for a second. Emmanuel Fringpong. Is that, is that your source? Yeah. So, so the source, the source is Emmanuel Fringpong has told Arsenal oh, you should go that, sign that player. They ain't happening, bro. you got to be excited for a minute, bro. Yeah. Uh, average yeah, so it's not like it's not like it's not like it was a big uh it was Emmanuel Fringpong yeah, Arsenal, yeah. Arsenal basically Arsenal's urge to go sign uh Declan Rice. Yeah. I don't I love it, but would he leave West Ham though? Would he would he leave though? He would leave West Ham. He would if, especially if you have champions. Okay, well, if I'm being Moore, honest, he'd leave West Ham for City or Liverpool, innit? Let's face no, it. No, if, if if West Ham if West Ham don't win the Europa League and we get Champions League football, he would leave. True. Yeah, true. West Ham will win the Europa I think they'll win the Europa League. If they don't, uh, that's if they don't. don't. If they don't, yeah. Yeah. I think West Ham winning it, man. All right. Um, let me check oh, what else is anything oh, else. Yeah. Um Victor Ozyman news. I personally yes, don't want I nothing. I don't want nothing to do with Victor Ozyman personally. Really? I, really? Let me uh, let me be honest. Nigerian, bro. I'm Nigerian, bro. Come I, on, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of Victor. I don't want him either. But what's your reasoning, Igor? You're not a big fan of Big Vic. Why? I, th- I think there's a big adjustment period from the Serie A to the Premier League, and the fact that he's also played in, in the French league. And and he, and he hasn't really been lining it up in in the Syria. I don't watch the Syria week in week out, but but, they, but Napoli Napoli are also known for being historically difficult to deal with when it comes mm. to negotiations. Yeah. And I think they'll try to bend us over backwards. Rentist, they will try to bend us over backwards for Victor Osimhen. And I don't think we even are interested in buying him for over a certain price where they yeah. want ninety million uh, up front. Like that's not happening. That Listen, if you, want, if you want to get I a serious want, I striker, want him, I want awesome, man. I want him in it. If you if we're gonna spend 90 mil on a striker, listen, we go get Lataro Martinez, he's the best mm. of the lot, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Would you get would you get Osman for like what about 40 million? Would 40 million be okay? Listen, Osman is Osman. Are you evade, bro? Tax, bro, bro, are you dumb? I'm sorry, respectfully. That was the that is the most ridiculous comment I have. How's that ridiculous, bro? I'm just saying. How's that ridiculous? Bro, you know they me, paid, bro. They paid 72 never, million. I'm not, I'm not I'm bro, you said no to Ivan Tony, who would cost around that price. But he's, you, better, but, he's better than Ivan Tony, bro. I'll take you. But, but I, you're saying Victor Osimhen. You're saying Victor Osimhen would would go for that little. There's no way that they spent. I'm just, ridiculous. Bro, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Man. They Come spent. On. They spent. Uh, they spent their mortgage on Victor Osimhen. There's no way they're getting rid of him for nothing. What about fifty or sixty million then? Personally, I think Victor Osimhen links are nothing at this moment in time. I have not heard credible Victor Osimhen links. Every link that I've heard has been bullshit. <laughs> to this moment in time, I think we are not actually linked to this player. I think Fair this enough, is media I, bullshit. I, I love him though. I love him at Arsenal. I, I think Napoli him. are not even trying to sell the player, in my opinion. I want him and Darren Nunes. Darren Nunes makes sense, but this right here, in my opinion, has been BS from the jump. Um, reports say that uh, Arsenal are linked to Pochettino as a replacement for Arteta. No, bullshit. No, no nonsense. That's bullshit. Nonsense. Well, Poch, Poch, the thing with Poch here, yeah, like he's a bottler, but that's the problem. He's with, a serial loser. The guy's never won. The guy went to a league of levels above, league and he's still he's lost. He's levels above Arteta. He's clear of Arteta. Part. Easy though, bro. Easy. Yeah. Easy he's a he better manager than him. Come on. He Easy though. Easy, Listen to this 150 Poch million. What are they snorting at West Ham? I don't know, Myra. They're, they're, they're snorting something. They're snorting something. I prefer Tony. Big up Ben. I ben Tony coming on saying I prefer man, Tony. Man. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to look into this Pochettino stuff because this makes no sense. 
Pochettino would never join Arsenal mm. in the first place. Nah, he, we don't he, want him. We he, don't he want managed, him. He managed our rivals, but I don't think he'll, he'll come because he managed our rivals. Let's be real. Yeah. I don't want him. I don't want him. He doesn't win. Like he went to he went to the French league where it's a one horse race, and he still managed to lose the league. He did nothing in England. He's they won it yesterday, though. Water. I don't, I don't, I don't like the French. The French league is is far cool, but he, they won it. They won the league yesterday. Bro, anyway. you give me PSG, bro, and I'll win the league, bro. Come on now. Anyone would would, would win PSG. Even Big bro. Sam could win the French league. Big That's Sam. what I'm saying, bro. That's why he has no credibility, bro. But Poch is Poch is. I don't want him as well because he's a he's not my first choice. Luis Enrique is, but he's levels above. But above is he though? Is he actually levels above? Because it took Arteta six months. Come on. on. What, 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 what Pochettino, what Pochettino, what Pochettino on, achieve in all that time in, in the English yeah, league? He won nothing at Tottenham, nothing, nothing at Southampton, nothing, Espanol. Nothing, bro. That's, Yo, you know, can you're, I, can you're, I show you something? No. Manchester United are, are bringing in Ten Hag, and I really do believe they're trying to copy the Arsenal model of how to run things. And if you, if you know one of my... What? I'll be back. One moment, bro. All right, no worries. Go on, bro. If you know Arsenal... Arsenal are trying to uh, Manchester United are going to try to copy the uh, the Arsenal model. And if you look at this, Rio gave them six points. They yeah. said set the culture, improve the recruitment, structure reset, uh, clear uh, playing style, embrace the youth, and develop players. That is literally word for word, bar for bar, what Mikel Arteta has been trying to do at Arsenal at this moment in time. So when it comes down to it, I really do believe Manchester United are just going on down the route of copying Arsenal. But yeah. I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. I'm gonna wrap um, it up here. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Well, big up to Chelsea. big up to all the people who've come through. This has been the match reaction uh, for for this, and we'll be back later today for uh, yeah. with Chelsea, uh, vibes from the six. Then the you guys have yourselves a good one. Peace out, guys. As well, bro. You as well.